Hurricane. Let's play against Hurricane. Yeah. I think against Hurricane, I should be going with V Trigger 1. Oh, I messed up. Deserve to lose this one. Reicht PC für S5? Ne, PC ist sogar besser, wenn du einen guten PC hast. Du bist auf dem PC. I wonder what this matchup is going to be like now. It seems like Kami can't really do anything anymore. This is uh, <laughs> potentially a really bad matchup now for Kami. Oh wow, what did I do? get away with that one. That was a bit too greedy. Do I sense a bit of sorrow in your Round voice, two. Kami? Maybe a bit. Wow, see the rollback? Buffering low forward inch tats. That should be it, right? Man, the damage output of Ryu is absolutely crazy. Which means mid screen, a fireball will lead to a higher success rate in, uh, like giving you hits. See that? He's focused on sweeping from really far away. And now he's getting hit because he's walking into fireballs.
<laughs> Fireball anti-air into the trigger. <laughs> Let's go. Round two. Wow, well, wake up back though, that was smart of him. Oh, that's punishable, okay. That's totally fine. See, if anything, this is the reason why Ryu is gonna go to, uh, uh gonna be top here now. Not the V-Trigger. The V-Trigger is a nice buff, but really the crouching medium kick is, is, is what, what enables everything. See that? This is a game changer. This right here. Those mid-screen conversions are big. And it leads to this, by the way. The reason why I got that jump in is because he was worried about that crouching medium kick. So he threw out a button that I can jump in on. There's like the, the implications for how much the gameplay has changed because of that is really like, you can't underestimate this. Take a look at that. Take a look at how much damage, how much I'm getting off of this. It's it's not really the V-Trigger 2, which is also why I think V-Trigger 1 is still important. You need V-Trigger 1 in a matchup where the crouching medium kick is not that effective. Every jump in up until that point. He's like not adapting, he's just gambling. Wow, he's getting so lucky on those dashes, unbelievable. He dashed a heart punch. Wow, finally wrong on the dash. Such a phenomenal trap that he goes for. I didn't do that. Okay. Could not handle the pressure. If you haven't noticed any difference, well, you're one of the few players then to not have noticed the difference. Boost. 
I just died. Uh, I've already determined Laura is a matchup where you want V-Trigger 1. Uh, one. Bison as well. You Fight. also want it against um, uh, Cody. Uh, I thought for sure that was a whip punish. Guys, if you, want to, if you want to support the channel, you can check out Surfshark VPN. It's the official sponsor of this channel. Anyone who signs up supports the channel, gets a great VPN, gets a nice deal, because you're only paying like two bucks uh, on monthly on a two-year plan. And you're getting uh, three months for free. Plus a replay analysis. If you want to, I will take a look at a replay from you. If you want some feedback on your gameplay, if you want help, uh, this is the only way to get that. Worth it. Worth it. Akuma's done in this matchup. I don't see how Akuma is gonna recover. That's it, Akuma. That's it. I don't know, Jimmy Akuma is still Akuma. Akuma might still be Akuma, but he'll lose this matchup. He might still be top tier, but this is a, a, a matchup one. that uh, Ryu is gonna win. Like, just take a look at that. That's absolute nonsense. I mean, the lag is also nonsense, but... See what Akuma has to do now? In order to hang with Ryu? Akuma has to throw fireballs just to stay in the game mid-screen. And in doing so... <laughs> yeah, that was ridiculous. See that? He's forced to throw that fireball. Oh, that was great! Oh my god, that was actually skillful, damn. It's kind of funny, like, this guy knows exactly how I'm gonna, I'm gonna meme myself to victory. NL thinks V triggered to- oh, wow. Lag. Wow, what a target combo. Right 
try to hit him from that build. But here's the thing, saying that NL is a real player is like a stretch. Like, that's number one. You win. Uh, number two, I think there are clearly matchups where V-Trigger 1 is better than V-Trigger 2. Um, I've already come to that conclusion. I, d I don't think there should be a lot of debate about that. I think at this point it's very obvious there are matchups where you want to pick V-Trigger 2 and there are also matchups where you clearly want to pick V-Trigger 1. And I also think there are there should be a lot of matchups where both V-Triggers are going to yield good results. <clears throat> Yo, Strange Hail, what's up? See you. I need, really need to stop those out there jabs. It's really bad. It's a bad habit that I need to get... Wow, my medium punch did not come out, so you gotta jump in. That's absolutely crazy. Oh, wow, what a sequence. By the way, I'm pretty sure against Cody you need V-Trigger 1. I don't think V-Trigger 2 is a good choice against Cody. You need to have a strong fireball against him to beat him. But this Cody, by the way, is not choosing the right... The, the right V-Trigger, so it's an, it's, a, it's an auto win. This guy needs V-Skill 2. This guy needs V-Skill 2, but he's not picking it. So yeah, this this will be a free win simply because Morgoth and he's gonna be in chat in a second is, is not making sure my fireball game doesn't work. Wow. Oh, what? Where's my crosscut? The crazy part about this is, yesterday we had a similar issue, and then I still recovered and got a massive amount of points simply because Ryu was so strong. But, like, the amount of points lost due to input uh, issues because of lag is absolutely mind-blowing. That was, that was mind-blowing as well. Wake up medium. Stages do not lag. No. Alternate training stage does not lag. Please, let's you not win. have this discussion. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the PlayStation 5 can render training stage. <laughs> why risk it all? Round because one. it's Alex, that's why. Fight. Here's the thing, this player can only win a, a match against me if he gambles. And he knows that, so he's gambling. Um, I, I, I understand the thought process. Escudo, for example, doesn't have to do that. Escudo can actually win against me without taking those gambles, right? But this guy's ground game isn't good enough, so what he does to make up for it is take cra crazy gambles. Wow, how did I not get that? And by the way, this is also the same reason why against like, or for low-level players, telling them to stop jumping it doesn't actually help them because you're you're robbing them from their, their win condition. Uh, oh, wow, I got lucky there. Sorry. 
stopping to jump doesn't make your ground game good. You win. That, that's a problem. If your ground game sucks and you're jumping to get uh, wins, then your ground game will not become better if you lose 100 matches in a row. What's going to happen is you're going to simply drop the game. That's what's going to happen. <laughs> 